So today, now I'm going to discuss about the contention based RATCH procedure. Uh, before that, uh, before in last video, actually I was discuss about the attach process, uh, this why attach process is required, right? Why RATCH, when we need a RATCH and uh, how you decide where you need to transmit the RATCH. So this four to, uh, three to four query I have uh, discussed in the last video. So now here I'm going to discuss about this one contention based RATCH procedure. So uh, here, uh, if you will see uh, uh, in uh, GNOB uh, sending the SI message, system information message. So already I have discussed about the system information message when mobile comes to the network, then start listening uh, to the network. So which is closest to the base station that mobile can communicate and based on the signal message peak of particular base station. So, जो भी कम्युनिकेशन होगा जो भी सिग्नलिंग होगा उस सिग्नलिंग के बेस पे जो नियरेस्ट बेस स्टेशन है उसको यूवी सेलेक्ट कर लेता है एंड जीनो बिकॉज़ जीनो इज ब्रॉडकास्टिंग सिस्टम इंफॉर्मेशन मैसेज वेयर यूवी लिसन एंड रीड दोज मैसेज एंड एक्ट अकॉर्डिंगली राइट सो दैट इनिशियली यूवी डजंट हैव द आईडिया अबाउट व्हेन एंड वेयर नीड टू सेंड द पीरेच फॉर द अपलिंग सिंक्रोनाइजेशन एंड अपलिंग ग्रांट राइट सो दैट जी नोड भी ब्रॉडकास्ट द सिस्टम इंफॉर्मेशन मैसेज फॉर द यूई वेयर यूई रीड दोज मैसेज एंड फिगर आउट वेयर एंड व्हेन नीड टू ट्रांसफर द रैच रिक्वेस्ट इन सी वन मैसेज देयर इज सम इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर लाइक राइट सो पीरेच कॉन्फिग इंडेक्स Uh, masses, frequency start, period route, sequence index, zero correlation, zone flag, request set, config. So these are the power ramping step. These are the important parameter in C1 masses. So that uh, they are the important. These are the important parameter in the system information masses where UE figure out when and where UE need to send the RAC request. So that uh, after uh, figure out uh, whatever message is coming in system information message, right? So from this message, uh, you yeah, figure out if all the condition is met for the PRH transmissions. So you transmit the PRH preamble with RA RNDI, right? So preamble and RA RNDI. I keep a bringing such a solution video to learning and earning. For this, it is in the say that you are still connected to my channel. If video is helpful for you, please support me by clicking on like button. If you have any query suggestion, please uh, don't forget to comment in comment sections. If you are uh, new to my channel, then please help me to subscribe it and there is a bell button beside it. So please click on bell button and enable the email notification. Thanks. RNDI. So these are two important parameter here uh, uh, that you is sent uh, during the first uh, message one message after reading the system information message, right? So the, uh, this is RA RNDI. Basically, this RNDI is not actually some value. If you will see the log, some value will be there for the RNDI. So there is the meaning of that value, and that value is calculated. From some parameter, whatever it is coming in, see one message. So here you can see that there is some parameter SID, PID, uh, that is FID, and uh, that is uplink carrier ID. So these are the some important uh, you can say that parameter, and every parameter have the some specific value and some specific meaning. So if you are telling about the SID, so this SID the index of the first OOD symbol of the specified PRH and its value is 0 to 14. PID is a time index, time domain, in time domain what uh, index of the first lower symbol of a specified PRH in a system frame number that value is 0 to 80. If ID is the frequency domain location, it tell about the frequency domain location and uh, index of a specified PRH in frequency domain and the value is 0 to 8. So that whatever parameter it is uh, calculated RA and TI. So that is the uh, TID, FID, that TID that is time domain location, it tell about the time domain location. So how you get the time domain locations? Uh, that means key G node is transmitting. So, so this time domain location actually in C1 message there is a 
pre-rach config index is there, right? So through the pre-rach config index, you will figure out which frame, which slot number uh, you need to transmit the pre-rach, right? So Gnode will stealing from this parameter. Gnode will broadcasting th those parameter and stealing to the UE. Hey, you need to transmit this preamble at this address. So this address, this is the right this is the frequency this is time domain right so this frequency so gnode is already uh, tell about this address this is your address where you you need to transmit the preamble value right so suppose that preamble value zero is there so here uh, from uh, this uh, value this uh, in time domain right time domain location this is a frequency domain location so from the fid PID it will get the time slot location here PID and for the FID it will get the frequency domain location then exactly you will figure out where need to transmit this value right so so in time domain location uh, there is a p dash config index is there right so p dash config and for the FID there is a parameter in C1 that is a message FDM and message 1 frequency start so in already have in last uh, videos already this is for the frequency domain message one frequency start this is for the time domain uh, locations so these all messages are coming in c1 message so after figuring out in which slot or which frame number which sub frame number you will need to send this preamble value so uh, uh, it's sent in the message one so it is sending this preamble value at this ra and Value. Actually, basically, uh, a question is asked that when to transmit the PH preamble? When to transmit? So when to transmit? That means we already have the value, right? PH config index, message one frequency start. So, so from these values, uh, uh, values uh, actually it is uh, say about the location of the preamble, right? So that uh, from here it is figure out ki where need to transmit the P -rach. So that actually the this preamble is consists of two part. One is preamble ID that is rapid. So this preamble ID also we say that it is rapid value, random access preamble ID, and uh, uh, and uh, and so here it's pick any P -rach config index from out of sixty four preamble, uh, right? So any preamble. So here I have picked zero value, right? Out of sixty four preamble I have picked zero value. And other important part of this message is time and frequency domain, right? So that uh, that is R and D, and R and D actually is telling about the time and frequency domain locations. So uh, in message one, it is sending R and D. That means it is giving the address of this preamble ID, and uh, through the rapid preamble, this preamble value is zero. So when it value will be reached to the G node V, then exactly G node V also can be figure out. Yeah, this address, this preamble ID, you is sending, right? So here I am going to discuss about the three scenario. First scenario is that, uh, first scenario is that in time domain frequency location, uh, suppose the two U is trying to connect with the network with the same time, right? So that uh, uh, and uh, both uh, one U is sending preamble ID uh, zero uh, with this address, right? One U is sending preamble ID zero with this address, this R and value. Another U is sending same preamble but different uh, preamble ID uh, with same preamble ID with different R and This is the different time domain location, right? So in this this different time domain location, it is sending same preamble ID. Second scenario is that uh, this is a frequency, this is a time domain. Second scenario is that one UE is sending uh, preamble ID zero, uh, preamble ID zero, the different preamble ID. Suppose that one UE sent preamble ID zero, another UE sent preamble ID two, but different same RA identity. R A R N T I is the same for the both U E, but preamble ID is that different. Third situation is that third situation is that both U E transmitting same preamble ID with the same R A R N T I value. 
both UE transmitting same preamble ID with same RA and DA value. So here in uh, this time, uh, suppose that one U, uh, two UE, right? Two UE sending uh, message one RAC preamble uh, to the G node B. Uh, will take this third one first, right? So with same RA and DA value and same preamble value, it is transmitting to the G node B. Now, uh, so now the uh, so now this message uh, reach to the G node B. Both messages will reach to the G node B base station, and uh, G node will uh, G node B will respond with the message two, and uh, it will respond to the both UE right with different AC R N T I right, and with this different C N T also it will send the R A R N T I R A R N T I and rapid value rapid value in message 2 so this is ra and ti for the both ue uh, ra and uh, because ra and is same right for the both ue and rapid is also same for the both ue so uh, mass uh, g node we has given a temporary cr and ti name so one ue has a robot one name robot one and another uh, TCR and TA temporary C and TA value I have given another for the another uh, R and TA another UE it is given a robot two so both robot one and uh, robot two reach to the UE right so that uh, and uh, this R and TA value maybe it is a different right already have told that this R and TA value maybe suppose that it is four hundred so it is the meaning of four hundred right so in time domain frequency location uh, this R and TA is calculated frequency and time domain from the R and TA and know that UE UE know that what the address of this uh, preamble so when it is reached to the UE then UE figure out for the both UE what the frequency time domain location because know the RA and TI so what the preamble ID address for the UE1 uh, that means for the robot one and uh, what is the preamble uh, location that means uh, RA and TI value know the so what the location of uh, another UE uh, so that uh, from it if figure out from this uh, RA and TI rapid and uh, and know that about that uh, what the location in frequency and time domain location for the both the UE what the preamble ID is there so it raised to the UE so so now if the same time two UE are transmitted with the same rapid and RA and TI and uh, both are robot right robot one and robot two so now uh, both robot will go ahead and trigger third message that is message three that is RRC setup or request message right so that and will tell to the genome hey I want to connect with you and I have this temporary CR and TI this uh, temporary CD ID one UE have temporary CR and TI that name is robot one and other temporary C and A that is robot 2. So it is transmitted with the same rapid and same R and A value that means within the same time and frequency domain. So in this case what happened in this case collision will occur. So here collision will be occur because rapid value 0 and uh, uh, that is R and A value both are same for the both U right R and T is also same rapidly also same so here collision will be occur at the g node b so so these two messages are coming from robot one and robot two and both messages will collide at g node b so possibility of succeeded of this message is very low and this situation collision occur and there is no response coming back from the g node b and it never be able to decode this message correctly so both robot will time out and go random access procedure again Right, both robot will go and follow the random access specialty again. Instead of this third scenario, if we are talking about the scenario one and scenario two, so either of rapid ya RA and TI is a different. Yeah, right. So preamble chosen in frequency and time domain is a different. So one of them is successful, and if get a successful, then G node is sent back to the RRC setup messages. Right with CR and TI, so that in this two scenario, actually uh, this preamble uh, here RA and TI is different. Here preamble ID is different. RA and TI is same, but preamble ID is so in both situation. If any other happens, then what will happen? So 
हेयर क्या होगा डिकोड डिकोडिंग जो है वो सक्सेसफुल होगा इन दिस टू सिनेरियो में और उसके बाद फिर जी नोड भी है आर आर सी सेटअप मैसेज भेजेगा टू द यू ई विद द यू ई कॉन्टेंशन रिजोल्यूशन आई डी यू ई सी आर आई कॉन्टेंशन रिजोल्यूशन आई डी विथ एंड बिफोर दैट एक्चुअली इट वॉज इंडिकेटेड एज टेम्पोरेरी सी आर एन टी राइट नाउ हेयर इट विल इंडिकेट सी आर एन टी आई टू द यू ई वट एवर यू ई इट इज सक्सेसफुल दोनों में से जो भी यू ई सक्सेसफुल होगा इट विल लोकेट एज ए सी आर एन टी आई एंड इट विल सेंड सी यू ई कॉन्टेशन रिजोल्यूशन आई डी टू द यू ई एंड इट विल सेंड आर आर सी सेटअप मैसेज सो दिस टेम्पररी आइडेंटिटी इज इसेंशियल योर सी आर एन टी आई सेल रेडियो टेम्पररी आइडेंटिटी सो इंड ऑफ दिस रैंडम एक्सेस आवर कनेक्शन इज सेटअप बिटवीन मोबाइल एंड जी नोट भी एंड आइडेंटिफाई द सी आर एन टी हैज बिन एस्टेब्लिश बिटवीन द यू एन जी नोट भी सो दैट कनेक्शन सेटअप डन देन यू ई रिस्पॉन्ड द आर आर सी सेटअप कंप्लीट मैसेज विथ रजिस्ट्रेशन रिक्वेस्ट मैसेज सो हेयर आर आर सी कनेक्शन इज सेटअप बिटवीन द यू ई एंड जी नोट भी सो दिस इज अ कंटेंसन बेस्ट रैंडम एक्सेस प्रोसीड्यू इन दिस थ्री थर्ड सीनरियोज Uh, collision is occur and uh, in this first and two scenario it is uh, resolving this uh, contention resolution is happening there so this is the flow of the contention based random access procedure so if video is helpful for you please uh, support me by clicking on like button if you have any query question suggestion please comment in comment box so thanks for watching this video bye take care तो इसके लिए जरूरी है कि आप मेरे चैनल पर जुड़े रहें मैं अनंत फॉर्म अनंत टेक्नो सॉल्यूशन ऐसे ही लर्निंग और अन्य के सॉल्यूशन वीडियो लाता रहता हूं अगर आपको ये वीडियो आपके लिए हेल्पफुल है तो प्लीज सपोर्ट मी बाय क्लिकिंग लाइक बटन इफ यू हैव एनी क्यूरी सजेशन प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू कमेंट इन कमेंट सेक्शन अगर आप मेरे चैनल पर नए हैं तो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लें उसके पास में एक बिल बटन है उसको दबा के ई मेल नोटिफिकेशन को इनवॉल कर लें सो थैंक यू